Hello again. Um, I just wanted to show you a quick tip on the Korg Electribe. Um, something that I've been playing around with lately is kind of generative music and, um, you know, just playing with things where I don't want to go in my traditional route where I say, okay, I'm automatically going to have this sound here at this rhythm, things like that. I kind of want it to be a little unknown to me, a little random. Um, the Electribe's very cool. It's got all of the motion sequences uh, up to 24 per sequence that you can control tons of stuff including the effects parameters and stuff. So what I did, um, it, it's kind of boring to watch, you know, because it takes a few moments. But what I do is I go ahead <clears throat> and I choose a couple sounds and then I don't program in any any actual hits. I just hit record and start tweaking knobs randomly haphazardly, any knob, whatever. Um, especially the effects knobs are nice to do motion sequences with. Then I go back in and I'll just create a basic pattern with some sounds. And in this case I happen to choose some uh, FM type drum sounds. And then and then I hit play and then see what happens. And if something good comes out, then I'll keep playing with it and building upon it. If not, it takes me just a few minutes to kind of create this random interesting IDM sort of pattern. So anyway, this is one pattern I just did. Let me just show you show it to you here. <clears throat> So you can hear some of the motion sequence. This third effect is a, is a reverb, so some of the size of the reverb and the volume of the reverb is coming in and out. And of course all the weird tweaky sort of um, you know, effects and warping and stuff. Let me play the pattern for you without any of that so you can see what, what you think of that. So as you can see, it's a real basic pattern. Um, but the thing is, I had no idea what it was going to sound like before I did that. If I had started with that pattern, I might take it in particular avenues and, and warp the snare drum in certain ways, things like that. If I don't hear the sound before I actually warp it, then it really is inspirational because it takes me beyond what I could possibly imagine into kind of new territory of, you know just interesting, like I say, kind of IDM and this warpy, glitchy sort of stuff. Um, and then I determine if I like that pattern or not, and I start building upon it. Hopefully this tip helps you guys um, come up with some new stuff on your Electribes. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm constantly finding new stuff about this machine that's really cool and inspirational. So uh, if you've got any tips, let me know. Um, send a link or anything like that. If you want more tips, I've got other YouTube videos. I've got things on my blog as well. And there will be links uh, below this video in the description. Anyway, uh, cheers and have a good one. Keep making good music. Bye.